John Quarterman, Spotty River Keeper again. Um, so I collected these samples at Two Creeks in Brooks County, Georgia yesterday. Uh, put drops onto these sheets here. Cooked them overnight at 95 degrees. And now we've attempted to count them. So the control came out zero, which is what we want. If there had been anything on there, we'd have to throw out the whole thing, and that'd be that. So, no E. coli on the control, that's what we wanted. On Okapilco Creek, Okapilco Creek in Brooks County, a major creek, so major that in Colquitt County, they call it Okapilco River, we found, this is actually upstream here at Georgia 76, sort of northeast of Quitman. First plate had one colony, middle one had zero, next one had one, that's two colonies. Divide by 3, multiply by 100, you get 66 tawny forming, forming units per 100 milliliters of water, which is the unit. And that's actually good. That's well within, uh, below the 126 limit the Georgia Dot Stream recommends as you want averages to be lower than that. I would prefer zero, but that's good. Okay, then downstream at US 84, due east of Quitman, we got 1 plus 1 plus the year is also 2, so naturally 66. Still good. However, on this other creek that we're calling Cricket Creek that feeds into Okapilco Creek, we got very different numbers. On the upstream point at uh, uh, Monument Church Road, we got 16 plus 13 plus 12, which is 41. Divide by 3, multiply by 100, and that's 1366. That's not only higher than the 410, which is Georgia Dot to Streams. You don't want to be that high or higher even on a single sample. That's higher than Georgia Dot to Streams 1000. Alert. Find out what's going on. Try to do something about it. But it gets worse downstream at the bridge on Devane Road on Crooked Creek. This is just a little north of US 84. We got 73 plus 70 plus 73 equals 216. Multiply by 100, divide by 3, and you get 7,200. 7,200, which is more than seven times the alert limit. That's real bad. Uh, these are actually similar to the numbers. Um, this top one here. It's similar to the number that Valdosta found on the Withacoochee River at Knight's Ferry on Wednesday. So you may wonder, how did it get, if it did, you know, we don't actually know yet, this is actually difficult. If it came from here and got into the Withacoochee River, why weren't these numbers higher on the same day? Because this creek enters Okapilco Creek downstream from both of these points. Now, I don't have access to any point between US 84 and the Withacoochee River on Okapilco Creek, but both Lowndes County and Valdosta do. And Wednesday, uh, Valdosta already found elevated numbers above the 410 limit on Okapilco Creek downstream of US 84. It'll be very interesting to see what they see Wednesday. So far, it appears we cannot take down these signs yet because there is indeed bacterial contamination in our waters. And yes, we're working on it. It's taking time longer than we would like. We're frustrated too, but we are narrowing it down and this is part of the evidence. Thank you for your attention. Oh, and if you'd like to help, you can contribute to our water quality testing program. Just go to walls.net. In the menu, look for water quality testing. You'll find it. Thank you.